Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. I have a book review for you guys today and it's actually a series um, that I am obsessed with. <laughs> obsessed with. Um, and I am still obsessed with it. I finished this series a few weeks ago. I still think about it. Um, I loved it so much that I went and hunted down the next book. Um, which is not actually part of the series, but is sort of intertwined. And I got a first edition signed copy and I drove quite a ways to get it. So if you guys haven't figured it out yet, it is the Caraval series by uh, Stephanie Garber. You guys, it is so, so good. So um, this is in the young adult section. I would say you would, I would say 13 plus would be okay. Maybe even 12, depending on how advanced of a reader um, your babe is but this series is so so good it is beautifully written if this is not made into a mini series or a movie i might die like literally i might die i know that it was picked up several years ago for a movie option and i have not seen anything else about it it needs to be a mini series netflix if you're listening hulu if you're watching Somebody please pick this up. It is so, so good. So it is a three book series and Caravel is a game. So basically it starts off with two sisters. There is Tella, which is short for Donatella and Scarlet. And Scarlet is set to be married to a Duke that she does not know. She lives with, a, they both live with a very abusive father, like physically abusive. And they basically need out. So Scarlet has decided that she is going to marry um, this Duke that she does not know to try to escape her father and she's going to take her sister with her. Meanwhile, Donatella, who is the younger sister, she's more of a free spirit. She finds this boy, Julian, and she has convinced him, he's a sailor, to take them away. And when they were children, before their mother died, um, they her mother their mother used to tell them about caraval which was this basically if i had to compare it to anything it would be like a traveling circus almost except that it was an interactive game and it, magic is real in this series and so every year you have to be invited to caravel and it you have to see remember it's only a game but you get so into it that you mistake fantasy for reality and each year when the game is like you know given out there's a new um a new prize for the winner and so scarlet writes to legend who is the head magician for like seven years like asking for tickets like i really need out like and he never responds and then one year he responds and sends her two three tickets so it's basically one for her one for her sister and then one for her fiance um, and so she is, you know, thinking about going and then her father finds out and kind of, it's not very graphic, but he like abuses them, like beats one of the sisters up and, um, Julian decides he's going to help them get away. And so at the last minute they escape Donatella and Julian sort of trick Scarlet because Scarlet's kind of a rule follower, right? They end up leaving, they end up getting to the game and somehow Donatella and Scarlet get separated and then Donatella becomes part of the game in the sense that Scarlet has to find her. The whole game, there's tons of people playing, is that the sister has gone missing and there's clues around the whole game to try to find her. Whoever finds her wins and the win is you get a wish. So Julian, they get to the, the front entrance, right? And Julian tells the people at Caraval that he is Scarlett's fiance because the fiance is nowhere to be found. We don't even know who he is. So with this book, they play the game. I'm not going to tell you how it ends, but this is all about Scarlett. And it is so good. Just the imagery, the descriptions are so beautiful. It is a world building experience. It is stunning. I fell in love with this book. I, think I read this in like a day and a half and then immediately picked up legendary so this book is more about donatella and she has a whole situation um because typically caravel is played once a year but you find out why but there are two games within like two weeks of each other and so the players 
um, that are sort of the actors within the games. Like, they have to rest, and they go to a certain place to play the second game, and then you find out why there's a second game, and it's really, really good. Um, there are fates in this book, which are immortals that are not good, <laughs> but then you sort of kind of like some of them. Like, you know, aren't we all sort of attracted to a damaged soul? <laughs> so here you meet um, Jack of Hearts, and he deals with broken hearts. And the thing is, is that these fates are not as they seem. And so you find out why fates are not around. Then you learn they might be coming back. She has to play the game. And then you realize that maybe is this one a game or is it real? I'm not going to tell you, but it's so, so good. I think I liked this one better than Caravel because, I don't know, the character building in this one is really good. Um, I had to keep reminding myself that Donatella is very young <laughs> because there's some things where I'm like, girl, come on. But it's so good. Again, beautifully written. Um, I loved it so, so much. And then the finale is the last book. Um, again, such a great one. I feel like this one, it was definitely not a game. This one was like real life, but you find out a lot about, um, Donatella and Scarlet's mother you find out basically like is this all like does this all happened for a reason or was it just like random luck that they all ended up together in this one place um again beautifully written I think I read this one in like two days it's a pretty thick book I want to say let's see how many pages is this one almost 500 pages it's beautiful. I even love, like, look how beautiful they are, like, the first pages of the chapters. Everything about this book is absolutely stunning, it, even down to where, like, if you're reading a letter from someone, the handwriting is different. It's stunning. It's beautiful. Um, each book has a map. I don't know if anyone loves maps and books, but I do. Like, look at how beautiful this map is. It's so pretty. I believe all of them have maps. Um, yeah, I mean, look, look at this. Just stunning. I almost poked myself in the eye with this. But if you're looking for a good series, stop what you're doing, get this one. And I actually believe that Caravel is free on Kindle Unlimited. So if you have Kindle Unlimited, grab it. I have started reading a lot on Kindle Unlimited, and if I like the book, I buy it really good it's so good you guys um she does have a new book out called once upon a broken heart i that's when i went and hunted down i wanted the pink signed copy from barnes and noble i had to drive like 45 minutes to get it but i got it i got the last one in the store um it's beautiful i can't wait to um tell you guys about that one i just started it last night and i read about 120 pages it was so good so if you guys are looking for a good fantasy series i highly Highly recommend this one, you guys. Cannot go wrong. Like I said, I think this is pretty much all age groups. Like, I wouldn't read it to my seven-year-old, but I think 13 plus is okay. There's nothing overly graphic in it, um, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So go get you these books. I love them so much. That's all I have for you guys today. If you have read those books, let me know what you think. I love them so much. <sighs> my heart. I love them so much. Okay, guys, that's all I have. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you're enjoying these. Um, let me know if you want me to review a certain book. And that's it. That's all I have. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.